Hi guys, it is time for my June favourites. What the heck, June? Uh, whew, let's get started. So my first favourite this month was um, my little envelope punch board. This thing I got um, super cheap. It was on sale, I think. It might have been something ridiculous like $11 um, from Warehouse Stationery on International Scrapbooking Day. So what's that? The end of, end of May there. Um, and I literally just haven't stopped using it since. It is so easy to make these teeny tiny super cute little envelopes um, and I put them on everything now so I've done uh, a whole layout of Pink Paisley with envelopes. If you haven't seen that I will leave the link up there for you. Um, they've gone into Happy Mail, I've put them, um, this one's sort of a 3 by 4 size one so I've been using them for my 100 day project. Um, addictive but totally fun and super easy. Um, I will say it did didn't, should have followed the instructions. I figured it would be easy enough to know how to do it when I first started and whoo, did that go wrong? Uh, but apart from that, once I got started, just so easy and I love this little thing. My next favorite for this month is the, um, <laughs> I'm going to get it wrong, Ugh, stamp set. Let me show you what I mean. Um, Ugh, oog, uh, uh, oh. All those weird ways that you're going to say, uh, UGH, stamp set from Kelly Stamps. And you know I love me a stamp set that isn't um, best day ever, and this one is definitely one of those. Um, but I just love the cute little stamps in there. I've used that a few times this month already, I will say. Uh, here is a page that I did for uh, the release day. I didn't film a process for this one because this ombre multi stamp multi color stamping took me forever um but i super enjoyed it i picked all of the colors from here based off my photo which is in my pocket page notebook printed on vellum just to sort of disguise my journaling a little bit and then i glued on some actual um card stamps there too so a really simple page but um yeah, this sort of stamping is excellent when you need to uh, get some emotions out. So this stamp set, definitely another favourite for the month. So my very favouritest favourite from this month is also too big to put in front of the camera here. So I grabbed myself a new Silhouette Cameo 3 for my birthday at the end of May. Um, and I just love it. This is... Um, quite a bit of an upgrade from my very old portrait that I had um but I really love it I love finally being able to cut uh, a full 12 by 12 page and I've been using it heaps to be honest I think the main reason I use my cameo so much is because it is out on my desk and um it does take up a considerable amount of room I will say much more than the portrait so I did have to do a little bit of uh shuffling around to get this thing to sit up here but um no complaints so far really really love it and it goes super well with my next favorite so yeah, the next favourite, of course, um, the foil quill. Uh, in, in all transparency, I got sent this from American Crafts to try out. And um, I love this thing. When it works, it works great. But I will say there is quite a learning curve to it and a little bit of experimentation involved. So um, these, these tiny little rolls of foil that they give you in this pack, so not enough. So I have actually gone out... Um, and grabbed a bunch more of these 12 inch ones. Um, I tried a, a whole different variety of brands. I had a few of these Go Press foils as well and I will say they don't work as well but again I think that's experimentation. So I think there's a whole bunch of things that um, affect how the foil quill works 
the settings on your machine which because these are non-specific to cutting machines you sort of just have to work it out for yourself which again involves a lot of experimentation um, different foils the different papers that you're foiling it onto um, so a whole a whole huge sort of learning curve with this but um, I'm getting there getting there slowly this was a page that I did for Kelly stamps and I did the background if you haven't seen that video again I will link that up here for you but um, this wasn't the background it was supposed to be because I did stuff that up a couple of times so again it's um, when it works mwah, beautiful when it doesn't oh so frustrating but um, overall I really really do love this thing they are super expensive I think but um, if you were looking at getting one I would suggest that you just get the medium tip um, I don't even know what you call this bit foil quill bit I don't believe you need the whole set a foil quill and um, a bunch of foil so you write the only other things that are in um, this kit are like washi tape um, which I'm sure we've all got plenty of so if you're not quite ready to commit to this full kit then just the medium tipped um, quill piece and some foil should see you right. Uh, my next favourite is another stamp set, um, the Esther Alpha from Brandy Kincaid and Feed Your Craft. If you've ever wanted Brandy's handwriting on your layouts now is your chance. Um, this stamp set is awesome. There is um, an additional numbers set that comes with it which you know I just I don't know why all stamp sets don't come with matching at numbers. This one is so cute um, and it really is just a great fun quirky sort of alpha set. The size is perfect for um, pocket pages um, or a traveler's notebooks. I've seen some really fun um, layouts done, you know, like full 12 by 12 layouts as well. So it's sort of the perfect mix of size, large and small. It's got the super bold and skinny line to it. So it is a really fun font to use. So that is another huge favorite for this month. And my last favorite for June is the Mimosa Sunday line from Rosie Studios. I just love it. Possibly it's because of the colours um, being winter again. I'm loving anything that is bright and cheery and this line it definitely is. These are a few of my favourites. They've got um, focus camera. There we go. Some really cute tiny little puffy stickers. I do love tiny stickers. They are so handy. Um, and look at this tiny little croissant. He's my favourite. But um love the puffy stickers they've also got some little enamel shapes and again in these gorgeous colors love those as well the paper pad um, is again really beautiful and some of these papers have gold foiling in it also a lot of purple which I personally love and find it really hard to find in scrapbooking projects um, and they go so well with these beautiful peachy pinks like this has quite a sunny days vibe to it um, which I love as well so these papers are really beautiful and each pad has two designs uh, two pages of each design in it so you will never run out so beautiful uh, huge huge pack of die cuts this has all the die cuts there and there are two of each design in there again multiples are always a good thing and one of my favorite things in the line were these journaling spots there I mean they're also die cuts but just so handy for having a little space to actually put your journaling on you know if you struggle with journaling like I do um, and where to put it these little pieces are ideal for that um, I will say the one thing I don't love from this line are these alphas. Gold glitter alphas are totally my thing, you know that, but look at all this glitter in here. The glitter on these alphas is so loose, like I've literally just pulled this out of my drawer to put it onto my desk and my desk is covered in glitter. As soon as I pulled out these alphas from the pack, the glitter just went everywhere. So um, it, the glitter isn't particularly loose on the alphas. But the packaging is absolutely chock full of it so um, 
I'm still finding glitter everywhere, so don't love that. Love all the rest of this. Um, I will leave the link down below for Rosie Studios. If you don't live in New Zealand, you can go ahead and grab this from their website. If you do, good luck finding it at your local warehouse or warehouse stationery. It's pretty much uh, up for grabs. So whatever you can find is whatever you can get. That is definitely not a favorite. Okay guys, that was it. That was my June favorites. Um, quite a few sort of higher price items in here I know, but um, the rest not so much. Uh, let me know down below what you were loving in June or what you are hoping to grab. Maybe something from all the new collections that are releasing. I know I'm like really having to restrain myself. So um, let me live vicariously through you and let me know what you're picking up. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.